Hello man cavers. What are we doing today? This is a long overdue video. Do you remember a few weeks ago there was the online engineering auction which was held by Barry Hawkins? Do you remember that? Where there was all them lathes and boxes of stuff and gauges. Right, we are finally going to have a look at what I got. Um, it's some boxes here. I haven't even been through them yet. Oh, this is God's honest. I haven't been through them. Um, my buddy George basically dropped them off and I've sat them down. I haven't even looked in them. But I bought some random pieces, some random boxes. I think in total this lot was a, I think this was about a hundred quid for everything you're about to see. Don't ask me prices on individual lots because I think one box was like, 36 another one was like 22 with the commissions and everything come out about a hundred pound for everything so let's have a look and then you guys can see if i was ripped off or if i got a good deal i honestly i just glanced in the top of them from standing height and that's it um right i think there's going to be a couple of specialized pieces of machinery here or instruments but i really couldn't tell you Oh yes, I did the video of looking around the auction, but the actual bidding of it, I was looking at, you know, low resolution pictures on a laptop of a box, and I, I couldn't really remember what was in what. So I just bought some random boxes, hoping I'd get some decent bits. All right, without my waffling, let me get them on the floor behind where you are now. So yeah, I'll get the boxes stacked up. And then we'll go through them. Several of you have been asking for this video. So here it comes. Right. So guys, here are our boxes of stuff. I think that's everything I got from the... Oh, hang on. I've noticed one bit. I've noticed one more thing. There we go. That come as well. These that's going to tip over. Right. Let me move these boxes separate, and we'll start going through them. Right. Here we go, guys. The first thing we're going to look at. If I slide this box, which there be out of the way. I got two of these things, and a stand. And I believe these came in this lot as well. Whatever this thing is. And there should be, I think there was two of these stands. Here we go. We've got all these stands. Now then, I recognise what these things are from school. We used to have these at school. Where you used to hold test tubes and that in them. So I know what these stands are. Oh, here we go, yes. I know what these stands are. I think you nip a test tube in them. So we've got not one of them, but we've got two of them. This one's got these clips on. Ah. I got this thing. This, I do not know what it is. It has a heavy base there with a screw. It has a thread all the way up. And it comes to the top, which is just that. And then in the middle, you've got this contraption. What this thing is, I do not know. Yeah, I do not know what that is. Probably scrap metal. We have this thing here. I haven't got a clue what this thing is either. So goodness knows what that is. Hmm. Right, then I got these things. These are a very precision item. Two of them, they spin really freely. There's no play in them at all, so they're obviously for some extremely accurate tolerances. But, whew, and they're damned heavy, cast aluminium. They have electric socket there and a switch there. Goodness knows what all that is. And there's basically, this is basically an optical eyepiece here and here. That spins and lines up with something here. But I don't know because you can't see through it. 
So what, cool oh that, damned heavy. So what these are, I don't know. They're probably going to end up in the alloy bag, which is a shame because I would hate to think what, whatever something like this would cost you. But I say it's very precision. We have two of them. So if anybody knows, there's no lens there. This is just like an adjustment wheel. Another one. We have adjustments here. I say there is an optical lens there. You can just about see through it. And that also transfers through to this piece. I don't know what these things are. But we've got two of them. And they will probably end up. I'll take the steel out of them and put them in the scrap. Uh, I don't know. Or I'll stick them on another auction and hope somebody else know what they are. Because they are certainly of no use to me. Right. The bit you've been waiting for. Let's get into the first box. And see if I got anything at all worthy in this first box. Right. I don't know what I've bought. Crinkle washer set. I remember seeing... Oh, well, it's all felt a bit... I remember seeing that on the auction. And I remember thinking they're handy. I think that's why I bought this box. Because I see the crinkle washers and a couple of drill bits what took my fancy. So, yes. Probably very good quality as well. I haven't even looked in these boxes. I don't know what's in these. Or are they just empty? Right there we have... Three metal rods. The rest of them seem to be gone. Goodness knows what these are. Haven't got a clue. But I can make a use for them. What's in this box? Oh, dial indicator. Oh, there we go. It says on there. There we go. You can see what it says on there. Does it work? Oh, yes, look at that for a dial indicator. So, we have a nice dial indicator. There we go. I'm more than happy with that. Do you remember, a lot of these were Rolls-Royce parts. And this was last calibrated then. So, there, we have a lovely dial indicator. What have we got here? It looks like another dial indicator. A batty. This looks a nice one as well. The glass has fallen out of it. Did the Yeah, the glass just fell out of that. But again, it works. There we go. We have a dial indicator there. A batty dial indicator. Uh, I don't know whether this is good stuff. Good makes, bad makes. But I can't imagine this guy having rubbish. What have we got in here? Haven't got a clue. Lovely wooden case. Quite heavy. Oh, I think this is something I did look at. Slip rings. These are, these are slip gauges. And I think, some of you might correct me here, but I think these are, is there a size written on them? No, there isn't. There's some writing on there. Someone's name engraved on it. But I assume what these are are calibrated sized holes where you'd slip a piece of metal through to make sure it's of a certain size. I might be wrong, but this is very handy because it's very heavy, it's solid, it's got a good straight edge on it. I don't know what the rounded corners are for. They might be, I don't know, to measure a, measure a radius on a curve, but we have a set of slip rings. Very heavy in a wooden box. Very nice indeed. All right, what else have we got? We have a good quality two foot ruler, steel ruler. Look, two foot, that's very good. A latch for a shed, I don't know what that's doing in there. A, some, a pop rivet gun by the look of that. Oh, this is it. Right in here. Oh, there's another clamp for them school stands. There we go. I can go over there. What have we got in here? Well, there we go. We'll have a look in here. We have a full box. A full box of what look like milling pieces. Look at these. These are brand new with the wax still on them. With a thread. 
Again, these are of no use to me. Oh, that's a big one. There's yeah, some big ones here, guys. Look at these melon pieces. Brand new with wax on them. There's one that's got the wax off. No. Nope. But that's, that's never been used either. We have some damn good melon pieces. Whatever this machine is, it's got the Rolls Royce sticker on it. So that's a Rolls Royce item. But I don't know what it is. Any ideas? But it's Rolls Royce. I assume there's another cross you up. There's another brand new melon piece there. A big one indeed. There we go. 32 mil. There's another little mill piece in there. There's look like an old ink cartridge. Whatever's this, that's heavy. There's another mill piece, look at that, in a tube. Oh, she's a nice one, look at that. Mill pieces. Some coffee pods, some business cards, another mill piece. Some more little mill pieces. Look like a little lathe bit. Another little tool, I don't know what that is. Some rubbish. Some more mill pieces and drill bits. I think these are some good drill. Oh, there's a spiral reamer there. Very handy. I was going to get a set of spiral reamers. Two or three reamers. Three reamers, look. More bits. So, let's get rid of the rubbish out. That's a wax coating. So let me put all of these milling pieces back in this box. And I can put that somewhere out the way. There we go. I'll probably end up putting these on Evil Bay. I do like that Rolls Royce thing. I might keep that for the hell of it. There's all our milling pieces. There we go. I'll put that spiral drill bits up there. There you go. Ah, mill pieces. More rubbish. Easy dive. We have a pack of screws. Quite handy. We have some form of clamp. Yeah, I can see where that would come in handy. I really can. Oh, yeah, that's some sort of two-way clamp. Oh, there's a little baby clamp here. Look, look at that one. He's a little, he look, look at him. Did it, did it, did he. I see you just nip something in there and tighten him down. Look, look at that for a nutty little clamp. There's, oh, it looks like there's another two of them clamps. There's this and a menagerie. I don't know what that is. Look like some sort of barbaric tool. There's a little crank handle for something. I think I'll fall a load of rubbish here, you know. This thing, whatever is this? It has a wing nut and it opens up. What the devil is it? There's some writing on there. What's it say on here? Can I read this? No, I can't make it out. That has got writing on the top. Some of you guys might be able to make that out. But what is this thing? Ain't got a clue. Ooh, the cutest little grease gun I've ever seen. That's a front pocket find. That can go up there. Another bit for our school machine, for our school test tube clampers. Another little piece there. There's a little tub with an assortment of screws. Whatever that is, looks like some sort of reinforcement. Cool. That is, I don't know, what's that sign for Halifax Bill Society? I don't know, that's one hell of a heavy metal block. And it has some writing on it, look. Maybe this is an angle block or something. I don't know. But I'm guessing, again, a very good quality. Must weigh best part of a kilo. Very heavy. There's a little block of aluminium there. Don't know what we're going to do with that. There's also a shiny, bright, shiny L block. 
Some would say that's an off cut of angle iron, but I can assure you that's probably for something totally different because it's so precision cut. Ah, we have a little angle block as well, look. There we go, there's another one of these blocks. So we've got the pair of them. There we go, little and large, look. Anyone know exactly what they are? Wrapped up in some paper. We have another precision piece. I say this was extremely specialist equipment that I don't really know. Some screws. Ooh, a set of Allen keys. Always handy. Another front pocket find. A little set of dies. Look like they go on a little Dremel. Right, another precision machined metal block again there's some writing on that goodness knows what it is but it has four threaded holes in there nothing on the other I don't know what this stuff is guys this contraption this looks like a precision made little puller maybe you slide it over something tighten it down it looks like a little puller of some sort but it's fixed it's not adjustable still a very nice thing there's more rubbish, more rubbish, more rubbish. Oh, there's some more of them Dremel. Oh, there's the little Dremel bits that fell out of that case. They all lay in the bottom. There we go. Ah, the baby little Allen key. There's a little metal wedge block there. Again, these are all so precision made though, for something. A little gravel, and if we come in our little box, ooh, look at that, we have some lathe pieces. We have two, yeah, there's two lathe jaws in there by the look of it, and look like Morse taper three dead centers. Oh, and a tape, is this a taper? Is this a taper adjustment? That is, look, that's a taper adjustment, excellent. They could come in handy, not for this lathe, but for some lathe. We have a little wooden handle, look like a little, I don't know, uh, some little scraping tool or something. There we go, chisel, oh, I don't know. A piece of hardened steel rod, that's going to go in my... There you go, that's in the box for lathe turning. Oh, and look at this tiny little clamp. She's a little voice in it. Look at that. Look at that tiny little thing. That's to hold something very small. I do like it. Right, I think that's one box. Oh, another one of them blocks. Look, there we go. So we've now got three of these blocks. Right, let's discard all this. Get on the next box. All right, now we're on box number two. Again, this is very, very heavy, so I expect there's some metal pieces in here as well. Because like I say, it just nearly busts my balls trying to move this box over here. All right, we're going to start with the thing I bought this box for. I remember this being a set of drill bits. I believe these were drill bits, and I wanted them because they're precision ones. Oh yes, are they all there though? I remember seeing these on my video. Look at that. They are all there with the exception of the very smallest one. But the rest of these, are, yep, they're all there. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely set of bits? And I do like how they don't measure themselves in millimetres. They are in like a numbered size. So the biggest one up the top here... Well, this, this one here is a number 24, but that's not 24 millimetres. Then we've got a 23, 22, 21, 20. So this has got to be 24. But this one's a number 11. I don't get it. Anyhow, we have a very, what look like, good set of quality drill bits. Right, what's in this thing? Wooden box. Right, what is this contraption? Well, again, it's optical. 
It's got a threaded bar. It has an eyepiece. All I can assume is this is for some sort of optical instrument telescope. This is obviously an eyepiece. Oh, there we go. It's an eyepiece, but what it's for, I do not know. That obviously screws into a machine as an eyepiece. Totally useless and probably totally worthless. But it's in a nice wooden box and there is a label in there as well. There you go. What am I going to do with that? Probably put it in an auction. Get rid of it. A little hand crank drill. Yeah, I don't care too much for that. Some, yeah, some cheeky stones. Oh, a little pot here. What have we got in our little pot? Again, a load of milling attachments. And this thing with a ball on it. And a, whatever's this, there's a ball. That's some sort of pointer, I'm guessing. Oh, I ain't got a clue. Loads of little mill bits in there. We're not going to go through each one, but these are all brand new milling pieces. Yeah, there's a load of milling. If anybody's got a milling machine and want all these mill bits, let me know, because I don't have a mill. Whatever they are, probably nothing. Yeah, uh, diamond tile drill, probably nothing. Oh, what's in here? Right. There we go. You can read what's in there. Inspection. What was that? One and a half to two and a quarter inch V micrometer. More and right. Wow. Rolls Royce again. Look. So this is Rolls Royce tooling. Oh, look at that. Is it free? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I would hate to think how much something like this would cost new. This is probably paid for what I feel. <laughs> this is probably worth more than I paid for the whole lot. And remember, I give about £100 for these three boxes and some loose bits. There you go. That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I assume that's to measure tube. Bar? Don't know. But it is Rolls-Royce. There we go. Lovely little set. There we go. Ah, another box here of brand new milling pieces. There we go. I might keep the smaller ones for if I ever get a mill, I might need them. There's ah, Bosch jigsaw blades, and all the blades lay loose in the bottom. What's in here? An empty blow molded box. What's in here? Oh, a small set of reamers. Oh, that good. I needed some reamers. Excellent. What's in here? Any drills? No, we have some countersunk drills. Is that a good make of them? Don't know. But we have some countersunk drills with one missing. Definitely worth a keep. We have this gadget, some sort of spiral cutter. Haven't got a clue. It's got a hole in one side that comes out the other. But what that's for, I do not know. There's a box of high-speed cutting tools, an empty box. <sighs> what have we got in here? These look like some micro, I don't know whether they look like tiny little fret saw blades. There's some more jigsaw blades, Bosch jigsaw blades. We have loads of them. Another packet here, and they are all in there. Another packet of hacks, jock, jigsaw blades. Ah, then this thing I just pulled out of here. That spiral cutter with the hole in it. What did I just do with that? Because I've just found two more here, look. Smaller ones. Oh, there it is. So we've got three of them. Maybe they got, you know, do you know, maybe these come out of this box. I wonder if that's what this box is for. Well, they fit, look. I wonder if there's a smaller one, then we'll have a set. We'll keep that out. Ah, there's the smaller one laying the bottom, look. So we have a set of these. A 2015 5 and 10. 
Oh, there you go. So we have the full set of them. I don't know what's in this bag. Little tiny drill bits. Phew. My word, look at this for a magnetic base. It doesn't work, though. Oh, yeah, you, I can push the middle through it. Push off. Oh, yeah, that works. So this is obviously one of them heavy magnetic bases. What you use to hold like dial indicators, but I can't see where you'd actually hold your indicator. And there's normally a post sticking up. I don't know, but we've got one. There's a big clamp. Empty. Cool, that's where the weight is. Right. We have a Morse Taper 2 reamer here by the look of it. And then there's some Morse Taper 1 reamers. Cool. And a load of small reamers, die cutters. Yeah, center drills, reamers. Very handy little lot. And very heavy. There's some boxes here. With probably bits in them. I'm not even going to open them. A big Jubilee clip. Some more boxes. Ooh, there's another Morse tape or one reamer. We certainly have some reamers. There's a piece of plastic. There's a split aluminium ring. Don't know what that's for. There's some brass bits here. These look like stuff from furniture. There's more little bags with bits in. I suppose it could be in time worth opening them bags. Dormer taps, or are they just tap washers? No high speed steel ground threads. Also, these are taps in there. Ah, right, okay. So we've got... Let's just open one of these. Just out of curiosity to see if there is actually a tap in them. Oh, crikey. Oh, my word, they are some small ones, aren't they? Whatever are they? I don't know. I don't know. They'll go back in their respective bags. Probably end up on eBay. Someone will know what they are. There's more bits and pieces. Quarter inch BSF. That's obviously a tap of some sort. Basically, this metal twin tin is obviously a drawer out of a cabinet. And it's full of taps and dies. And more bits. Half inch BSF bits. We have just got bits everywhere. There's some more reaming bits here. So I've definitely got some reamers now. This one's in a nice cardboard tube. Look at that. There you go. I could even use these on my lathe. They go up in my big Morse taper chuck. A little steel block. Empty. They look like some little brass screws and brass washers. Oh, there's another little, another little mill piece there. And in the bottom we have a load of jigsaw blades. I think this lot can go in the recycle bin. That box is recycled. Let's get all this lot tossed away. Do I want an old knife, look, an old butter knife, made in Sheffield? Uh, well, we'll, st we'll stick it in that box for another time. Scrap. There's some more of them little bags of pieces, loads of them little bags of dies and taps. Another mill piece, we'll keep this little metal block, keep the little bit of brass, keep the clips. That lot. That lot is rubbish. Right, and there's just one more box. Cool. I just put it down. That magnet holds. Oh, that is heavy. Right. Oh, 
right. Oh, that was that box of crap. Right, what is in these? CLS. We have several of these in this box. Right, it looks like we've inherited boxes of rubbish. There we have some plastic gears, some small chains, sprockets. Am I ever going to use this? Probably not. And I bet that's more of the same in these CLS boxes. Oh, that's got a load of aluminium gears. And small belts look like they go on hoovers, vacuum cleaner belts or something. I haven't got a clue. I say, this guy, the engineering company, from what I work out, they used to make a lot of machines for Addenbrooke's Hospital. Specialised machines. There we go, some boxes are little. Some of them belt pulleys. There's some more of them belt pulleys. Got some nice plastic boxes, even if the rest end up in the scrap. Yeah, look like some form of solenoid here. Yeah, look like there's two electric solenoids. Pull them to pieces for the copper, maybe? Oh, I don't know what we're going to do with all this. This is stuff I don't really want. Phew. Now, this is a tool. This is for... There's a Morse taper too on there. What machine is that? Do you know what this is? Is that something I can use on my lathe? That very much looks like... Something I can use on the lathe. Oh, that's a gearbox. Look, you turn this one way and that spins the other. Look. So that's a reverse gearbox for something. Very heavy. Ooh. We have another mag stand. Look. I wanted one of these. Does it work? Where's that big old metal block? Yeah, let's put this metal block in there. I'll see if this will pick that up. Oh, no problem. Does it turn off? Oh, yes. So I need one of these to hold my grommer. Perfect. A magnetic base. Oh, look at this for a piece of solid alloy. Oh, this is most excellent. I could do with that. Definitely. This contraption... Another contraption, it has some writing on there. And, oh, there's a dial on there. Look, there's like measuring increments up to about 18 inches. Goodness knows what that is. Boxes, there's a sardine tin here. Look, they've got a sardine tin, Tesco sardines. And they look like, oh, they little tiny um, welding rods. We've got three tins of them, look. And some nails, that's approved. Oh, another little aluminium block, highly machined, obviously for something. Whatever this contraption is, but it's going in the scrap. Look like some sort of hole punch, I don't know. There's another one of them belts. And this contraption. Whoa, look at this for a digital scale. Oh, there's no battery or battery cover. I wonder if the battery cover's in there somewhere, because this is like some sort of very precisioned digital micrometer look. That is, look, there's some form of digital micrometer there, so you can measure the height of something. Look at that. There we go. Again, extremely heavy. And I'm going to poke about to see if I can find the battery cover. Oh, that battery cover must be in here somewhere. All right. Because I need to find the cover for that. And I bet we haven't got it. I bet that's not in here. No, a little carbon brush. An Allen key. Another little rod. A little pressed cover for something. Ooh, a little bit brass, look. We have some knurled wheels. There we go. A little clip. 
bit of like gasket paper. <sighs> well, can't see a battery cover. I bet you that could well have fallen out somewhere. Could have got into one of these boxes. I'm determined to find that little plastic battery cover. <laughs> Do you know, I reckon once I dig through this, we may well, we may well find something. Oh, that goes in there with that one. Yeah, I reckon we'll probably find that little battery cover. Anyhow, guys, I think, um, did I get any loose bits? Hang on, I think there's another box. Wait, wait a second. All right, turns out there is another box. Yeah, I thought there was four boxes. All right. Whoa. All right. I don't know whether this is much in here. Oh, that's heavy. We have a stand. With a dial indicator. Look at these. And these are extremely heavy. Trust me, these are not going to tip over. We've got one of them. We have two of them. There we go. And the dial indicators work. Extremely good. Are these Rolls Royce at all? Uh, doesn't say on it. Whew. Oh, there is a make on them. Cool, that heavy. Mercer. There we go. We have two of them. We have some more. Keepers, I've got some of them hanging up. Oh, shame there's no carbide bits in there. A rudimentary spirit level. There's a an angle gauge. Or I was gonna call them protractors, they ain't protractors, I don't know. Whatever that is, look like it don't do a lot of good anymore. There's a little plastic angle gauge here. That's got an arm on the bottom. Which I... Oh, I see. The whole thing comes out like this, look. So, there you go. We have an angle gauge here, look. That's a rum thing, isn't it? Probably going in the bin. We have a piece off a square. I really ought to set up a scrap box, don't I? Whatever. This is technical, isn't it? You unlock and lock this, look, there you go, you set your angle. Oh, you set your angle, then you lock it. There you go, look at that. Technical machine. Ah, there's another brand new little Bosch. Oh, that's a little rotom bit, we've got some rotom bits. Look like he did woodworking as well. It's a decent old square. There's another old-fashioned square there. She's got the angle on it as well. Don't know what I'm going to do with these things. Whatever this is. Some sort of jig. Hook. It does say something on there, but I don't know what. We're just having a quick blitz through. What are these? I don't know. They look like some washers with a part number. What's in these? Carbide inserts. Ooh. We got carbide lathe pieces. Look, shame there's only two in this one. But if you've got the right size bits to fit them, look at these carbide pieces. Look, and I know these are very, very expensive. There's only one in there. There's this thing. Do that hang dead centre to find a centre point? Wouldn't have a clue. There's a... That just looked like a metal point. There's some more calipers here, manual calipers. A 12 inch steel ruler. I've never seen a spirit level where you can turn the bubble to angles and lock and unlock it. I ain't got a clue what that's for. What's in here, anything? No, looks like rubbish. That can go in one of them boxes outside. 
rubbish. We have another heavy steel ruler. There is some counter in here. That's empty. Rubbish. There's some more carboid bits here. Some nice little ones in there. Look, they're braze on ones, these ones, but look, oh, there's no holes in them. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. Job lot, I always think. Job lot, all these bits together. Oh, I don't know. We'll find something to do with them. Nothing in that one. That looks empty. Nothing in that one, I don't think. No, these are empty bits. These are empty. I don't know why they've got three empty ones in the bin. They go. There's an old Kamasa tape measure. Cool, look at him. Oh, he ain't even got inches on him, look. He's centimetres only. There we go. Wow, look at that bad boy. It's a good find. What's this? That looked like a little... Is that a little... A little bore mic? That's a little tiny micrometer, look. Baby little thing. Well, that's quite cool, that little micrometer there. Well, hold on to him. There we go, he's put away safe. Ah, I think this could be, this might be the, um, I was thinking this could well be the bar that goes through this. Maybe it isn't, we'll sort that out later. There's another one of them there, look. There's another another right angle another manual caliper I've got plenty of them manual calipers oh would you not some more milling bits there we go we have some more milling bits two of them oh is that a collet chuck I wonder if that's the little chuck I wonder if that's a little chuck what holes. That is a little tiny collet chuck, look. But there's no more taper on that, so it must hold in some form of machine. But we'll keep it. There's another millen piece here. Another empty box in the bin. Whatever we got in here, some bits and pieces in there. There's a little alloy thing there. Ooh, look at this little engineer's right angle. That is beautiful. All right, that's starting up where my lathe is. Another box of empty bits. There's another one of them collet chucks there. Look, there's a collet chuck with a piece in it. Don't know what I'm gonna do with these. A little six inch ruler. Oh, another little right angle. Look at that. Look at that, guys. What a lovely little thing. Another little set square. Oh, some more milling attachments. They can all go in that box. That's rubbish. Aha, some carbide bits that might fit my bits. They're worth quids. What have we got here? What are these? These are like angle find and feel gauges. There we go. A whole selection of them. Oh, internal and external look to measure the radius of a curve. We'll keep them. What's in here? Probably milling bits. Right, there's this contraption. Ooh, what a lovely little steel ruler in perfect condition. And it's got like a conversion table on the back. There you go. This is a nice little thing. We'll keep that up where the lathe is. Some more milling bits. I'm going to get fed up. I'll see you milling pieces, aren't I? No carbide tips there. What are these? Are these? Oh, these are like thread finders, I think. Yeah, I think these are to work out what thread a bolt is. Thread gauges, that's the word. Yeah, they're thread gauges, look. If they're Whitworth... But it says, there you go, whatever that, uh, I can't read it. That could be a maker's name. But there you go, they're handy little things to have. 
what's in the little tin. Oh, another set of gauges and some angles, look. Oh, yeah, there's your 60 degree angle there. Some more thread gauges. Let me put all these other gauges, what I found, in this little tin, look. There we go. We've got a little set, a little tin with some thread gauges in it. Oh, now then. I'm going to ask again, have I got my 100 quid's worth yet? Oh, there's some more carboid bits, look. There we go. Oh, another little set here. Another little set of thread gauges, look. There we go, another little set of thread gauges, guys. Perfect. I can go in that little tin. Where's my little tin? There he is. So we've now got some thread gauges. Look, excellent. That's rubbish. Rubbish. Empty, empty. That ain't empty. There's a bit in that. Look. Is that a reamer? No, that's some sort of very weird drill bit by the look of it. Look like an extra long drill bit. Oh, hang on to them. More sleeves here. More milling pieces. I've got more milling pieces than I, honestly, than I know what to stake, shape a stick at. More milling pieces. Oh, what else have we got in here? Oh, that's empty. Oh, I haven't got a clue. Don't feel like anything's in this box. Sorry, this is dragging on a bit. No, that's empty. Look, there's just a little keyway piece in there. So whatever was in there has gone. Rubbish. A little... Well, it's got a nice action to it. Quarter drive ratchet. We'll keep that. Ooh, a little inspection mirror. We can get myself to the dentist. We have a little slidey uppy gauge here, obviously to measure depth. Oh yeah, I think you put that in the top of a cylinder and that'll tell you how tall it is. That's a handy thing as well. Depth gauge. More milling pieces. Whatever's in here. Ooh, look at that. There's a collar chuck in there. There you go, I bet that cost a damn fortune. There we go. So we'll do here up. Come on, let's get this little thing screwed back up. There you go, so I don't fall out. Little collar chuck. I don't know, that looked like a little rotor bit. Two sets of old hanging scales. A box here which is full of, I don't know what's in here. Phew, look at these for mill bits again. More milling bits, some heli coils, a spanner, some blades for something, for some sort of saw, more milling bits. There you go. We've got some counter in there. More milling bits, milling bits, more mill bits, more mill bits. That one's empty. So we have a lot of mill and bits, feeler gauges, more mill and bits. An entire little bag of mill bits here. Let's put all these little mill bits in this bag. Oh, these look like brand new calipers. Handy. We're still finding loads of mill bits. They're all mill bits. Look at them all. Packets and packets of little mill bits. This, that looked like there's some sort of oil in there. Whatever is this? I don't know, is that an oil dripper? We'll keep it. Another steel calibration block of some sort. More mill bits. That looked like an attachment for something. 
another mill hook, some old rods. Ah, are they the missing rods what come out of that first big wooden box we looked at? They look like these. Maybe this makes up the full set. Another set of feeler gauges. Some more mill pieces. There we go. We've got enough mill pieces to shake a stick at. And another brand new steel ruler. That one's got inches and metric. Right, there we go. Well, I think... And there's a little tray with more... With more, um, with a little tape measure and more mill bits. Oh, and some carbide bits, look. I think we're just about gone through it. Another router piece. Empty little spanner. That one got something in it. There's something in there. There's a little knurled rod for some sort. That can go in parts while I can turn on the lathe. And I think that's my rubbish box. And they can come there. Well, there we go, guys. Now I've got to clear all this mess. And believe me, we've made a lot of mess. We've got to clear all this up somehow. <sighs> what am I going to do with this? I'm more interested in what this Morse taper thing is, what spin, and got a gearbox on it. <laughs> That's very, very heavy. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to put this all, I don't know, I'm going to finish the video, then I'll have to sort all this crap out. But yes, this is what I got. We don't just have one big box of mill bits there, and they are heavy ones. We have this yellow one here, it's full of mill bits. We've got more mill bits than we know what to do with. All right. Stuck to the floor. Well, guys, that's it of me going through four boxes of rubbish. I'm looking down there in case there was anything else I've missed that came in that lot because there were some loose bits. No, I think that was everything. Yep. Yep, that is basically everything we got from that. Oh, hang on. One more thing here. This, another one of them school stands, that's it. But I have an idea for some of them school stands, what I can do with them. Now, there was nothing else come with it, that was the lot. Yep, that was the lot. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. Several of you have been asking for this, so I thought it's high time I went through them boxes of crap to see exactly what I got. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll do, yeah, we'll do another video soon. Right. Sorry, but I keep looking at all that rubbish on the floor I've now got to put away. And I'm not looking forward to it. Right, I'll see you guys next time. we better zoom in on all my counter, haven't we? Where is it all? Ah! 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 And ha ha! There is certainly some cow of it.